Hello everyone, and um, today I'm going to be doing Movie Kings for Fiendies week 21, that's right. Um, for today's videos, I'm going to be doing my Movie Kings for Fiendies week 21, Halloween 3 kill count. God, I need to get, keep on track with that. If I figured it out, if I do kill count and review on the same day, I'll be finishing on, what day did I say? This Saturday, so... I mean, that's good, because I want to get finished and done with four Halloween uh, kills. So, yeah, so today's, well, it said Halloween 3 kill count, it says me to watch Halloween um, for the return of Michael Myers, kill count and review, Halloween 5, Revenge of Michael Myers review, The Adams Family 2 movie review, The Many Saints of New Ark, movie review and my first horror I don't know really horror slasher not really such like gruesome film that would I count as horror um mate no 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 <laughs> okay I mean the film goes under a horror thriller so Final Destination I know I did Final Destination last year but didn't do the whole franchise so that's what I'm going to be doing I'm going to be Reviewing the whole franchise, but that's not all because it's only five days. I'm also going to be reviewing all the Friday the 13th movies, and um, it's not going to be franchise, it's not going to be a franchise, but I am going to be re reviewing 2010th decade. So basically, from 2010 to 2021, that's not 2010th decade, I'm going to be reviewing one standalone film. So for 20, uh, 2010, I chose Insidious. 2011, I chose The Cabin in the Woods. Tw uh, so for 2010, I'm going to be reviewing Insidious. 2011, I'm going to be reviewing The Cabin in the Woods. Uh, 2012, I'm going to be reviewing Sinister. 2013, I'm going to be reviewing A Haunted House. So it's like a spoof horror comedy film. And 2014, I'm going to be reviewing It Follows. 2015, I'm going to be reviewing another horror comedy, Scout's Guide to a Zombie Apocalypse. I haven't seen that in a while, so I'm going to be watching it. Uh, 2016, I'm going to be reviewing The Bell Co. Experiment. 2017, I'm going to be reviewing Life. 2018, I'm going to be reviewing Slenderman. I have not watched Slenderman, and I'm not looking forward to it. 2019, I'm going to be reviewing Ready or Not. 2020, I'm going to be reviewing Freaky. And 2021, because uh, I looked for horror movies I haven't reviewed, and I looked, I haven't reviewed Willy's Wonderland. So that's the one. And that is the videos for Halloween this year. Um, it is a good jumble. We've got Final Destination, Friday the 13th, and just a bunch, like 11 films of standalone films. So further ado, let's get into uh, movie Kings for the News Week 21. So the movie news, the official poster for Netflix's live-action Cowboy Bebop series has been released. I'll start it right now. Got it right here. Looks really cool. Can't wait for the show in November 19th. Then we have a Teen Wolf revival movie is in works at Paramount Plus, with several of original series cast members and talks to return. Um, I'm a huge Teen Wolf fan, so... I'm excited for that. So the synopsis for the Teen Wolf revival movie is Scott McCall must gather both new allies, reunite trusted friends to fight back against what could be the most powerful and deadliest enemy they could have ever faced. That sounds cool, so cannot wait for that. Uh, after filming uh, after filming was almost going to begin, Wedding Crashes 2 has been put on indefinite in, in, in what was on hold. Before the final script came in, Owen Wilson decided to, to start in Disney's Haunted, Haunted Mansion uh, reboot instead, causing scheduling conflicts. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jenny Zhao, India Moore, and Vincent Regan have been cast in Ultraman in the Lost Kingdom. Zhao will play Stingray, Moore will play Crestron, and Shark will play Intelligent and telepath uh, Telepathetic. Uh, can't even speak. Powers Regan will play Atlan. The 
ancient ruler of Atlantis. George Clooney and Brad Pitt has been cast in an untitled movie with John Watts set to direct Sony Lionsgate, Apple, Netflix, Amazon, uh, Penra, never heard of that company before, Universal, MGM, and Warner Bros. are all bidding in for to buy the film. Um, that sounds cool because I love both. The first poster for Scott Derrickson's Black Phone, starring Ethan Hawke, I've got right here. Looks very weird, but kind of looking forward to it, because I'm a huge Ethan Hawke fan. Uh, Shang-Chi has passed Black Widow to become the number one highest grossing film of 2021 at the domestic box office. I knew it was going to reach there. Dune has earned $76.5 million so far at the international box office. Congratulations to Dune. The first look at HBO's The Last of Us series has been released. We've got it right here. Looks, looks like a video game to be honest. Uh, it looks great. Barbara Broccoli says that they will start to search for the new actor for James Bond next year. My pick, well my two picks for uh, James Bond is Henry Cavill and Tom Hardy. I think those two could be the next James Bond in my opinion. Um, I don't know who else could. And the official poster for Lego Star Wars Terrifying Tales has been released. We've got it right here to show. Yeah, it looks really cool. I haven't actually watched it yet. It came out on Friday, but I haven't watched it yet. The official poster for Paul Thomas Anderson's Licorice Pizza, starring Alana Haim, Cooper Hoffman, Benny Safdie, and Bradley Cooper. So we've got it right here. Um... I don't really know anything about this film, but yeah. When you look at Kamal Nanjiani's uh, In Eternals has been released. Got it right here. It looks really cool. I'm uh, not going to lie. When you look at Munch and Ghostbusters Afterlife. Oh, cannot wait for Ghostbusters Afterlife. That, oh, just going to wait. A new international poster for The Last Jewel has been released. I might watch it this month. I don't I do not know. But right here. Looks really good. A Jonathan Majors, Idris Elba, Zazie Beats, Regina King, Delroy Lindo, Lakeith Stanfield and RJ Kyler showing the first trailer for The Heart of the Fall. The film will release on November 3rd on Netflix. I haven't actually watched the trailer yet, but I still can't believe it. I cannot wait for the heart of they fall. The tragedy of Macbeth is currently at a hundred percent on Rotten Tomatoes with twenty seven reviews. Well, hasn't came out yet, so haven't seen it. It's just it's on to a New York a New York film festival. So Guy Ritchie's next film, Operation Fortune, starring J Jason Statham, Opera Plaza, Josh Harnett, Chloe Ells, Bugsy Malone, and Hugh Grant all release on January 21st in theatres. Cannot wait for that film because I just love Guy Ritchie. Helena Boneham at Carter will return for Nola Holmes too. Well, that's good. The official trailer for Enchanto starring Stephanie Burgess has been released. The film will release on November 21st in theatres. Sounds awesome. And the first official poster for the Book of Boba Fett and it's premiering on December 29th on Disney Plus. Got it right here. I don't see that. There we go. Um, yeah, I can't wait for this show. Oh, is that anime? No, I don't think it's animation. I forgot. I don't think it is. Uh, Daniel Craig and Ruth uh, Niga uh, will play Macbeth and Lady Macbeth in a new Broadway production of Macbeth, uh, directed by Tony winner uh, Sam Gold. I don't know if this is a movie or a musical, I don't know, but okay. Uh, Ron Edwinson, Sally Hawkins, Olivia Coleman has been cast alongside Timothy Chalamet and Wonka. Filming has begun today in London, or like last, this week. Uh, cannot wait for that film. Ridley Scott reveals he has already written Gladiator 2 and plans to begin filming the sequel after his next film. I love Gladiator, so... I'm excited for that. A new poster for House of Gucci has been released. 
go to right here. I really like this post stuff to say. Go right there. Yeah, I really like how what they did with this uh, visual poster. Really good. Lily Rose Duke has been cast alongside The Weeknd and Not Idol for HBO. The series follows a female pop singer who starts a romance with an uh, enigmatic LA club owner who is a leader of a secret cult. Sounds cool. I mean, yeah, it sounds cool. Apple has won bidding war for John Watts' next film starring George Clooney and Brad Pitt. Written and directed by Watts, the thriller will follow two lone wolf, uh, two lone wolf fixes who meet on the same job. You yeah, will don't know much about the film, but I love Brad Pitt and George Clooney, so that's good. The first trailer for Scream 2022 will be shown at the 25th anniversary of screening on Scream 1996 in the UK on October 11th. So I might be getting a trailer on October 11th. Oh, yes. I cannot wait because I'm, I'm a huge fan of um, Scream. Jason Plum. Uh, so this is why he chose it to go down day to date um, for Halloween Kills. So Jason Plum, uh, he decided to move Halloween Kills to day, uh, day to day streaming because, that's what he said, I had a bad distribution experience with Freaky. That movie is a great movie, and it didn't get seen because the distributions of it got all twisted up. So, yeah, I mean, you want you want to waste money for Halloween Kills, but I mean, I'm excited for Halloween Kills next week. Well, not next week, but the week after. Renee Jean Page has been cast in a heist thriller from Netflix, with Noah Hawley set to direct and the Russo brothers set to produce. Anything the Russo brothers are on, I'm in. So I'm in. Scarlett Johansson and Disney has settled their breach of contact law uh, lawsuit over her pay on Black Widow. I'm happy. I'm happy to uh, resolve our differences with Disney. I look forward to continuing our collaborative in the years to come. This is Johansson. Well, good. That's good. With the Black Widow lawsuit settled, Disney's Tower of Terror film starring Scarlett Johansson is moving forward. Well, that's good because I'm excited for that film. Now to the box office. Number 10 is The Eyes of Tammy Faye. Number 9 is The Paw Patrol Movie. 8 is Cop Shop. 7 is Malignant. 6 is Jungle Cruise. 5 is Cry Macho. 4 is Candyman. 3 is Free Guy. 2 is Dear Evan Hansen. Thank God that movie got up there. And 1 is Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings. Now for the Nelsons, ratings, TVs, slash movie. So, TV. Number 10 is Netflix's Family Reu Reunion. 9 is Netflix's Virgin River. 8 is Disney Plus's What If, Let's Go, it's finally up there. 7 is Netflix's Out of Banks. 6 is Hulu's Nine Perfect Strangers. 5 is Netflix's Grace and Frankie. 4 is Hulu's Only Murders in the Building. 3 is Netflix's Turning Point 9-11 at the War on Terror. 2 is Netflix's Money Heist. And 1 is Netflix's Clickbait. Now for the movies. 10 is Netflix's Welcome Home, Rocco's Jenkins. 9 is Disney Plus's Luca. 8 is Netflix's Vivo. 7 is Netflix's Wind Rover. Six is Hulu's Vacation Friends. Five is Netflix's SAS Rise of the Black Swan. Four is Netflix's Hazel Bat. Three is Netflix's After of the pa Afterlife of the Party. Two is Amazon's Cinderella. And one is Disney Plus's Cruella. Now for the Netflix Top 10 Movie Slash TV. TV. Ten is Chicago Meat. Nine is uh, Lucifer. Eight is Ganglands. Seven is Coco Melon. Six is Love on the Spectrum. Five is Blind Spot, four is Midnight Mass. I've only watched like two episodes of the show. It's, I don't know, I probably won't be reviewing it, but yeah. Three is New Amsterdam, two is Sex Education. I, yeah, sorry, I missed, I missed the boat for the review. But all I'm going to say, I really liked this. I really liked uh, the season. And one is Squid Game, uh, will be reviewing the show. Now for the movies. Ten is Ladies in Black. 9 is Intrusion, 8 is Just Mercy, 7 is Playing With Fire, 6 is The Starling, 5 is My Little Pony, The Next Generation, 4 is Boss Level, 3 is Britney's Britney vs. Spears, 2 is Birds of Prey, and 1 is Sonic the Hedgehog. Now for the movie slash TV shows coming out this week, we've got quite a lot. So number 1, other than America, unfortunately, we have to wait till November uh, in New Zealand, but Venom Let It Be Carnage, then we've got The Many Sense of New Arc, I'll be referring to it today. Like I said, then the Adams Family too. I'll be reviewing that today as well. Britney vs. Spears, uh, Attack of Hollywood Cliches, 
I'd be guilty. My review is already on the channel. I'm about to see it in September and be worth to what? Wait, to, well, they can watch it now, but it came out October 1st. And uh, then we got Diana, the musical. Uh, then we got Made, the TV show. I haven't actually seen it. Then we got The Way Down. And then we got 10 year old Tom. The problem, the problem with Jon Stewart. I love Jon Stewart. Because Big Daddy, come on. And Star Wars Terrifying Heroes. And there you go. Thank you for watching Movie Kings Movie News Week 21. Stay tuned to next week for Movie Kings Movie News Week 22. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. It'll be a big help. Thank you for watching. Take care. Peace.